Hello everyone, uh, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's session, I'm going to share you how to crack manual testing interview for two years of experience candidate. So many candidates may think that how to prepare for manual testing interview and what are, what are the concepts I should prepare before attending any technical interview as a manual tester who have two years of experience candidate. So this session is very important uh, who are who want to crack a manual testing uh, interview for two years of experience candidate okay first of all as a manual senior manual test engineer you should have solid uh, experience on uh, basic concepts of uh, testings okay and also you should have experience on um, you should ready to write any test case scenario so whenever you enter into the interview room the interviewer may take any example to write a, a test scenario whether it might be table or pen or ac or water purifier so he may ask anything or he may, he may ask can you write tests uh, test cases for uh, lift okay or fan or light any anyone so you should be ready to write uh, uh, a test case a test scenario for any uh, whatever available in the room okay and next one is um, you, you must have experience on uh, uh, different types of testing ask a black box testing or white box testing or gray box testing so you should have strong experience on types of testing and also uh, they may uh, they may have a lot of entry questions are there in manual testing for differences between so like uh, I will tell you some examples uh, most asked popular manual testing uh, differences entry questions like uh, uh, difference between regression testing and retesting difference between smoke testing and sanity testing okay difference between uh, uh, high priority and low priority severity and priority okay what is ad hoc testing what is performance testing explain different types of performance testing what is load testing so they may ask a lot of questions are there okay you have to prepare each and every concept with example they may ask uh, uh, some project oriented uh, differences where you use regression testing when to use regression testing okay and also you, they may ask questions like uh, when to start uh, testing and when to we have to stop testing okay so as a senior manual test engineer you, you should have strong experience on these concepts not only theoretical you must prepare with the practical practical means some examples okay and also uh, they may ask questions like uh, uh, what is a uh, boundary value analysis okay and uh, what is rtm so what is x and y axis uh, in rtm okay so prepare with uh, uh, two two or three examples with the boundary value analysis okay and uh, uh, they may ask like uh, defect related entry questions how to handle defects okay how, how to uh, report the bugs okay what type of uh, bug tracking tool you are using in your project okay and uh, 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 what is the defect flow okay and they may ask uh, what are the components of a bug report so you have to tell each and every component okay bug id bug type bug environment okay what is the actual uh, bug and what is the expected uh, report okay uh, uh, what uh, i mean uh, uh, what is the priority of bug so you have to explain each and everything okay and next then uh, you have you must be in position to explain life cycle defect life cycle or software testing life cycle okay or you, uh, you may ask must be ready as dlc also software development life cycle okay so and then uh, you must have experience on uh, like uh, what are the tools you are using in the current project or previous project for bug tracking tool which tool you are used and for project management tool which to, which tool you are used so if you say something uh, su suppose if you say uh, jira is my bug tracking tool they definitely ask uh, related in jira 
how you are going to um, uh, submit the report in Jira. Okay, they may ask a lot of questions related to uh, bug tracking tool uh, and uh, project management tool. Okay, and uh, you must have experience on domain knowledge as well, domain knowledge experience. So they may ask questions like, uh, what, how many types of domain knowledge you have? Okay, if you have banking domain or telecom or web, web application testing, okay, so or e-commerce uh, uh, domain, so you should uh, give answer properly. Okay, so whatever you mention in the resume, so they will ask those skills only. So along with manual testing, if you mention API testing or JMeter or automation, then you should be ready to prepare those uh, entry questions also. So if you are strong, if you are expertise in those areas, then then only you just mention in the in your resume the skills. Okay. So next uh, they may ask like uh, some basic SQL queries. Uh, like uh, what is um, what is difference between truncate and delete some joints concept okay and uh, uh, and also some uh, dml commands related comments basic commands so so as a manual test engineer if the requirement is based on the requirement only they will ask sql query okay otherwise they don't ask okay and next one uh, uh, can can you tell me a scenario uh, where uh, one bug is raised, but uh, the developer is uh, not convinced, then how will you convince to the developer, okay, about the bug report? So developer is not accepting your bug, then how you, we are going to convince that uh, with the developer or business analyst? So they may ask uh, such type of uh, scenario questions also, okay. And finally, I can say one word. Uh, you you must be able to think like an end user also. So whenever you are testing the application software, you are testing the software, you, you are able to think like an end user. Okay, you must be think like a positive testing and negative testing as well. Then only you will become a good uh, software testing engineer. Okay, and uh, uh, finally, uh, they may ask like questions in the final uh, phase. So, have you interested to switch uh, from manual testing to automation in future? Okay. So, they may ask this type of entry question also. Okay. So, these are the main areas where uh, manual test engineering facing in their technical run. Okay. So, most importantly, they will ask the questions like uh, testing concepts, like uh, types of testing, testing methodologies. Okay. Uh, difference between functional testing and non-functional testing so with examples and uh, bug reporting tools, defect tools and life cycles like defect life cycle, SGLC, STLC, okay and differences between m lot of questions are there like uh, smoke testing, sand testing, regression testing, retesting, ad hoc testing, okay monkey testing, okay lot of questions are there, okay I will, uh, I am trying to upload uh, uh, top 70 manual testing entry questions in coming uh, uh, videos okay so so that's all about guys so if you have any doubts on this video okay please uh, comment in the comment section so thank you for watching